Are you selling your home and want to sell it for the most money you can, but aren't sure how to do that or don't want to spend a lot of money doing it? We're going to talk about this. Not all home sales are created equal and what you do as a seller can make a big difference in the amount of money you'll receive. I'm not talking about taking on a major kitchen or bath remodel here. I'm going to give you 10 tips you can start on today so your home will look more appealing online and show better in person and will have buyers seeking out your house and wanting to offer top dollar for it. And be sure to stick around to the end for the most important tip that can make or break your sale. Hi everyone, my name is Laura Kennedy and I'm a realtor helping people buy and sell their homes with ease in the Oklahoma City area. Now let's get you the most money for your home. In reverse order. Tip number 10, paint color. Go lighter. Buyers are attracted to spaces that feel light and bright. A fresh coat of paint, especially in the main living areas, in a light neutral color will look better on camera and can help your buyers dream of living there and making this house their own. Tip number nine, lighting. Update it. Whatever decade your home is living in, new lighting can bring it into the current one. Low price options are everywhere and sticking to key rooms like the kitchen, living and entry can be a budget friendly way to make a big impact. Tip number eight, air filters, replace them. If this isn't already a standard part of your home maintenance, be extra sure to do this. The inspector will write this up on his report if this hasn't been done, but it lets fresher air circulate through the house and helps keep the longevity of your HVAC system. Plus, old filters just look plain gross. Tip number seven, cracks. Fill them in. Whether they're in the walls, the tub surround, or the concrete drive, cracks scream something is wrong with the foundation when it might not be, or the home has been neglected. So grab your caulking gun and walk around the house and fill them in. Just make sure to use the right substance for each location. Tip number six, curb appeal. Get some. Mow and edge your lawn, spray for weeds, add new mulch. Colorful flowers make your home look fresh and lively in person and help it stand out in a sea of brick and mortar home photos online. Take care of the flowers you have or buy a couple pots and plant some new ones in the entryway. While you're at it, buy a new mat for the front door too. Tip number five, windows. Open them up. Take down the curtains, pull up the blinds. Not only do clear bright windows look crisper in photos, but washed uncluttered windows let in more natural light and allow the buyer's eye to go straight through and focus on any gorgeous outdoor views your house might have. If your house doesn't have any gorgeous outdoor views, that's okay, don't worry about it. People like to feel connected to nature, so clear them up anyway. Tip number four, carpets and rugs. Have them cleaned. You can hire out any of these tips or none of them, but getting a professional in for carpet cleaning is money well spent. Buyers will notice if the carpets don't look fresh or they feel grimy. Even if they're planning on tearing them out as soon as the home is sold, clean flooring still looks good and makes a great first impression. Nothing may be more unappealing to a buyer than other people's dirt. My previous tips obviously help address this, but wiping down the counters and mopping the tile isn't quite enough. Dust the ceiling fans, the corners, wipe the baseboards, attack the spider webs, get all those little areas that are often neglected in regular cleaning. Tip number two, smells. Oof, get rid of them. There's nearly nothing that will drive a buyer out of your home faster than a bad smell. No one wants to pay for stink. We become desensitized to the way our homes smell, but a person who's never been in yours before has not. Their nose is primed. Pets, dirty diapers, trash, body odor, cooking odor, stale air, and the worst offender of all, cigarettes, will have a buyer retreating at the front door and onto the next house. A lot of previous tips will help with this, but do what you can to eliminate these offenders completely, like boarding pets for a few days during home showings or renting an air purifier. And don't think that just plugging in a scented wall fragrance will do the trick. All that does is smell like you're trying to hide something. A home that smells bad can sit on the market a whole lot longer than a home that doesn't. Are you ready for the most important tip to flock buyers to your home? It's one sellers and their agents often disagree on most, but it's so important to get right. The most important tip is tip number one, price. Get it right. There are too many factors to go into in this video on how to come to a well-priced number. If you want another video on it, let me know. But overpricing your home will often result in lower interest in the home and lowball offers. And while underpricing it will certainly drive up interest, you could end up leaving money on the table 
and your pockets a bit emptier. I hope I've given you some useful things you can do to make your house more appealing to buyers who are willing and able to pay top dollar for it and help you debt the most money you can. If you want even more info on this topic, my next two videos in this series will talk about what not to do when selling your house and how to stage your home on a budget. So stay tuned. If you want to chat more about this process, you can set up a meeting through my calendar link in the description box. I love hearing from you and I love answering your questions and helping you get to where you'd like to go. Happy house selling. See you next time.